Hi folks, it's good to be with you. I'm just going to make some apologetic videos and I hope these videos are, are an encouragement and a strength to your faith. And uh, so let's come before the Lord. Father, we thank you for this day and I pray you bless these videos for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This is the Quran and the Quran says that Jesus did not die on a cross. And Muslims say that Jesus is not God. So this is what the Quran says. But we're going to look at the evidence for that. And the article that you can look at is you can download this article called The Case for the Histrocity of Jesus. The, the Case for the Histrocity and Deity of Jesus. Free Bible insert. J. Wallace. There it is. And you can download this. And it gives you all the factual information about Jesus historically. And uh, proving his deity as well. And it's really a good booklet to get hold of and put in your Bible. If you're going down to Hyde Park or if you're going to do evangelism, put this in your Bible, have it with you, it's really helpful. So, we're going to look at some historical evidence quickly to prove the Quran is incorrect. Uh, ancient non Christian histor historians agree that Jesus lived. Ancient pagan historians wrote about Jesus and his followers, and the statements of these historians and writers corroborate the claims of the Bible related to Jesus. And these ancient historians contradict what the Quran is saying. This is really important to remember. So we have the historical record of Thallus, uh, 52 AD. We have the historical record of Pliny the Younger, 61 to 113 AD. We have the historical record of Suetonius 69 to 140 AD, the historical record of Tacitus 56 to 120 AD, the historical record of Maro Bar Serapion 70 AD, the historical record of Phlegon 80 to 140 AD, the historical record of Lucian of Samosata 115 to 200 AD, and the historical record of Celsus 175 AD. Now all these writers mention something significant about Jesus or the events around Jesus' life. It's very, very important to remember that. Ancient Jewish historians agreed with that Jesus lived. Even the most ancient Jewish accounts of Jesus are hostile. They still affirm much about the historicity of Jesus, even as they attempt to vilify his character. Number one, the historical record of Josephus, 37 to 101 AD. Uh, Josephus is really important. The historical record of the Jewish Talmud, 400 to 700 AD. The historical record of the Teladot uh, Yeshua, 1000 AD. Now, I can't go into detail about these things. You need to go and get this article, The Case for the Historicity and Deity of Jesus Insert, Go and look up the names and then look up the sources. And it's by Jay Wallace at Cold Case Christianity website. Cold Case Christianity website. Now Jesus claimed to be God. He prefaced his statement although he was God, Matthew chapter 5 verse 18. He identified himself with God's own name, I am, John 8, 49, 58. He talked as though he was equal with God, John 14, 6 and 9. He said that, that he and God were one, John 10, 25, 29. Jesus demonstrated that he had a nature of God. He demonstrated omniscience in John chapter 4, 16 to 30. He demonstrated omnipresence, Matthew 28, 20. He demonstrated omnipotence in John 11, 38, 44, Mark chapter 6 and 48. Jesus was worshipped in Matthew chapter 2, verse 10 and 12, the wise men worshipped him at his birth. The leper worshipped him at his healing. The leper worshipped him at his healing, Matthew 8, verse 2. The synagogue ruler worshipped him in Matthew 9, 18, 19. The disciples worshipped him in the boat, Matthew 14, 32, 33. The mother of James and John worshipped him in Matthew 20, 20 to 21. The blind man worshipped him at his healing in John 9, 35, 58. The woman worshipped him at his empty tomb, Matthew 28, 8 to 10. The Old Testament, Jesus fulfilled the Old Testament messianic prophecies. 
the Messiah will appear after the Jews return to Israel. After sorry, the Messiah will appear after the Jews return to Israel. Jeremiah twenty three three and six. The Messiah will be born in Bethlehem. Micah chapter five verse two. The Messiah will be preceded by a messenger. Isaiah forty verse three. The Messiah would enter Jerusalem while riding on a donkey. Zechariah nine nine. The Messiah would suffer and be rejected. Isaiah fifty three three. The Messiah would be betrayed for 30 pieces of silver, Zechariah 11, verse 12 and 13. The Messiah would be silent before the accusers, Isaiah 53, verse 7. The Messiah would be wounded, whipped and crucified, Isaiah 53, verse 5. All that evidence proves Jesus' deity, his historicity, and totally debunks and contradicts the Quran. So get the article... The case for the historicity of the deity of Jesus, Jesus. Free Bible insert by J. Wallace. Get that, put it in your Bible, look up the references. It debunks the Quran in a very powerful way. Thank you for listening. Don't forget my website, jasonbirthpreacher.com and Royal Blood Ministries website. God bless you and have a lovely day. Take care.